and welcome along. Today we are taking a first look at Millhouse Farm. Uh, this is a uh, f fictitious British map uh, created by Twain123. It's currently available for PC and Mac via the Giants mod hub and uh, yeah, the in-game mod hub and the Giants website. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, it seems to be a fairly decent map. Let's have a look at the overall. Uh, so we have, uh, looking at this, 50... 60. Uh, 67 fields by the looks of things. Uh, so all of a medium to small size. So pretty decent from that way. Uh, it is, uh, yeah. Four farms, two storage yards. Biogas plant and livestock market. Two main forestry areas. Uh, a soya milk factory and milk selling point. Compost factory. And uh, uh, which you can sell at the garden centre. Fantastic. Animated doors and lights. Chop straw mods. Dirt control built in. And fully optimised for seasons. So this looks like a really nice map. Uh, let's jump in the landy and have a look. Uh, although, before we do, we have in here... Oh, we got gold nuggets. So, are these actual bales? No, so those aren't actual bales. I don't know if this is a bale sell point. It's possible. Uh, but not much on there. This is our chickens by the main farmhouse. So, let's jump in the defender. And away we go. Uh, so, grain storage there. Plenty of uh, barns and yards and bits like that around here. So that looks like... Oh, that's one of the exits to the farm. So which way do we want to go out the farm? I think... Interestingly enough, we're going to head up the top of the map. Go round and come back in this way, I think. So uh, let's head out of here. We will have a look at the rest of the yard on our way back. But we're going to head out. And that's an impressive driveway. I really quite like that. Uh, good scenery at the moment. Uh, nice wide road. So you could, use some, you could use some pretty big machinery on this. There's nothing really that tight about any of the roads or anything like that. Uh, and across here, then, this is our cow yard, by the looks of things. There is the grass trough. And, uh, is that the grass trough? I think that's the grass trough uh, and the water. Ah, no, this is the sheep, is what this is. So that is the grass trough and the water for the sheep. Over here, we have a fuel tank. I'm guessing that is the spawn point. For the wool. Which is quite good. So a little bit of storage here as well. To store some machinery if you want. But to be perfectly honest. You're fairly near the main farm. So I don't really see that as an issue. Uh, fields up that way. Two fields that you own uh, behind you up that way. Both grass fields. 20 and 21. Yeah. Being a British map. It is left hand drive. Or drive on the left-hand side of the road. Sorry. Nice bit of water there. Right. So tunnel edge of the map. Oh, so that's the grass field you own. 22 there. So I'm guessing you can get out of it up that way. We're going to head up here because there is a barn or a farm or something like that here. Mara, oh right, this is the soya milk factory. So it's not marked on the map as a sell point, I don't think. Let's have a look, just make sure we've got nothing disabled. No, so not marked, but this is the, the soya factory that it was talking about in the description. And you can see here, um, yeah, let's jump out and have a quick look at this. So if we bring up this, there we go. Liquid manure, milk, pig food. Uh, and it needs fuel, water, uh, and soybeans by the looks of things. So yes, 
a nice factory mod. Uh, so this, the presence of this very much says that this isn't a map aimed to come to console. This kind of thing would have to be removed for this to be on console. So it's not completely out of the realm of possibility, but it is in the beta section of the mod hub. And as a result, I think that it's, uh, yeah, it's not going to come to consoles anytime soon. Right, that seems to be a dead end road closed up that way. In here, we have our forestry area. So, as you know, I like to have a look at the forestry areas and go, uh, you know, how much detail's in them. A little bit on the uh, flat and slightly boring side for me. I do like the fact that it has the forestry texture. Always a good thing to see. But yeah, it's a little bit... It's one of those places where you could very easily get the forestry harvester and just zoom through. And yeah, I would like to have seen a little bit more. Why is a yeah, reasoning for this being forestry? Why, is it, why isn't it field? Why hasn't it been cut down uh, historically? And, and to me... That doesn't so much say that to me. The head up here, and this is the sawmill. Interesting, it doesn't mark it as a cell point, but that might be because, well, yeah, that is certainly where the logs go in. But it looks like this, yeah. It looks like this might produce planks. And in fact, it does. You can see that's the place where the planks produced. And if we come over here, yeah. So, yeah, another, another scripted mod, another factory mod. This produces planks for you to sell. So nice to have that in and fairly close to the woodland, uh, one of the woodland areas. But yeah, rather like the look at, uh, across this lake. That's pretty cool. And this, that mud, is that? No. Oh no, it is. It is. Need to get the four-wheel drive on. Whoa. There we go. Way. <laughs> All right, we have mucked up our landy properly. That's quite cool. I do like that. That was deep as it should be. Normally have issues with the mud mod being deep. But uh, no, that was the perfect, perfect use of the mud mod. I don't think there are any extra um, crops in here. Or not that, not that I can see. I do, yeah, I do like the roads. I do like all the stuff between it. And it's, it's a... A nice feeling map, this. It's, it feels a little more open than lots of the other maps that I've played. I'm kind of wondering what that texture is, though. That sort of pinkish texture. Right, what do we have up here? This looks like... Well, it looks like a cell point that's not marked. So it could be a storage point. It could be a... Interesting. So, yeah. There is something here. But I couldn't tell you what. It does not seem to be an actual cell point. Which is a bit odd. Alright, so we're going to head out this way. So we've not encountered an awful lot in this part of the map. To be honest. There are some larger fields up here though. Wow, this, this map must be a... Is this map a four times? Because that's quite a big field. Very square, actually. Yeah, this is this is sort of the area of the map where the fields are a bit square. Oh, it's shingle. That's what that texture is. Right, we'll head down this way. I think, uh, let's have a look at... Field 5's price. Quite a large field, this one. 
one of the larger ones on the map. Uh, we have missions, which is fantastic. We also have a monster price. Wow, half a million nearly for Field 5, which is... Yeah, which is one of the bigger fields. Uh, field 25 is going to be really expensive. I'm almost tempted to see how much that costs at some point. Fields down there. Yeah, the roads, the roads are a nice size. You could get some fairly large equipment down here. Uh, but I think you'd be... I think you'd be hard pushed to get it in some of the fields. I think that would be quite an interesting thing to to go with. Uh, another forestry area down that way. Looks like a yeah, looks like a slightly larger one. That one. And we're back down towards the river. And wow, can we cross? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, we can. Just up here. Whoa. Putting a dent in the landing. We need to head south of it. It looks like we've got a fjord here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's some proper mud in and out of there. I'm glad it took it a little bit of speed with the landing. Because, wow, that would have been a bit harsh. I'm quite liking this this bit. That's quite cool. That's very nice. I like that a lot. Right, we head down this way. Head, head south. Uh, so own this grass field to our right. Field 28. And, uh, and the next one as well. So field 29. This is really actually quite... A scenic looking map. And what are we going over here? Is this a viaduct? It is. Oh, that's quite nice. Alright, ah, right. We need to back up a little bit. Because just up this road here, I see the cows. Uh, field 30, actually, just the other side of the viaduct we own as well. We missed that. Cows are down here. But now, this is... I like it, the look of a lot of this map. I think I'd get... I think I'd get a very samey feeling from playing it is the only thing. Driving around, I get... Uh, I get a distinct feeling of everything being a little bit repetitive. I don't know if that's being fair on it, but it is, yeah. That is the only thing. Uh, so, uh, manure and slurry. Uh, milk trigger, I believe that is. Because uh, we do know we can sell milk on this map. So, yeah, milk trigger... Uh, feeding trough that looks like I'm guessing that that is probably both the grass and the, um, the mixed ration uh, that is water in there yeah I can't see anywhere else for feeding the cows so I'm guessing that's both the grass and milk uh, mixed ration in that one there a decent cow site, uh, cow yard. Yep, nicely done. Let's head back this way and head south. Yeah, it is quite wide uh, roads. Hedges have collisions. And at some point, I'm going to have to, I'm going to check the price of a smaller field. I think that is the town over that way. So which way do we want to go? Uh, we do have stuff for sale down this way. Or sell points down this way. So we'll head down here. Ooh. 
Our first sell point is up here on the right. In here, and it looks like this is the BGA. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five silage clamps. Yeah. And cell point four silage there. And then where is our digested? Ah, it's over here. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that is our. I can't see an obvious um, filling point for the digestate. So yeah, I don't quite know where that is. But then is that something I've only recently started looking for? I'm not 100% sure what to look for at the moment. Ooh. Right, so we're going to head round this big loop. Before we head back into town. It's getting a little more interesting now. Now there is a cell point down there. Oh, now that is interesting. And when you get round the river, that's when this map actually comes into its own a bit. And I quite, I quite like this. This is that is a little bit different and quite cool. And this is, this is a cell point. Getting a lorry down here would be interesting. Uh, looks like a water mill. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Oh, there are some really nice little touches in this map. I think the area of the map I'd want to be in is... is definitely down this sort of way the top left hand corner uh, you know sort of the, the northwest corner of the map to me is not that interesting a part of the map not not the most interesting thing on this map the most interesting parts are definitely away from there and i think i think actually they've done well to keep the most interesting part more towards where you start off Right, here we have what appears to be another cell point that's not marked on the map. I don't know if these are cell points or, or whether they are just... Looking at the age and the disrepair of them, they could quite possibly not be cell points. That's, that's a, a distinct possibility. We'll continue around the road here. Heading back towards the town. Yeah. This is this is the bit where again a bit away from from the detail. It's a little less interesting. This but this is a huge map. This really is big. And that's finished that um, that loop. We're gonna head into town now. There, yeah, there are parts of this map I really like, and then there are other parts that I kind of go, is that it? And I think, for me, I would have to stick away from those bits that I'm going, is that it? There's a lot of roads. And it's, yeah... I don't know, there's something that's niggling me. And I don't, I don't want to be uh, overly unfair to the map because it's. As there's nothing in it that, that overly I'm going, that's awful or that's really bad or anything. But there is something niggling me and I can't totally put my finger on it. Ah, here we go. Pallet or, or plank sales. So yeah, you do your planks up the other end and, uh, and sell them here. Can't see ah wood chip sails, I think, is what that is. So that's wood chip sails in there. I'm guessing that in here as well must be log sails. I'm guessing that's your log sails there. 
or so at least somewhere around here. Not immediately obvious, but this would be that that would be the place that I would expect to sell the logs looking at this. But it isn't marked, which is interesting. But that would certainly make sense. Uh, right, we want to head down here. We've got the spinnery straight ahead of us. In here. So, wool sails in here. Perfect. Yeah, nice and simple. As, uh, for a British map, this does not overly feel British, would be the other thing I'd say. As a... There's an odd mix of, of sort of European and American architecture on it. And I'm guessing it's it's the sources are, are Goldcrest and, and Sosnovka for a lot of the buildings. Because it, it doesn't quite feel right as a British map. Here we go. So, uh, cell point here. Another gold nugget. Uh, anything straight on? Yeah, sort of. I will head back up that way. We're going to head this way for now. I think the town is... Yeah, town is to our left. Very winding route, this. But we do need to go into the middle of the town. This is an interesting area. Again, yeah, very much that, that sort of European feel to it. Although, obviously, the giveaway signs are a nice touch. Uh, right, cell points in here. Oh, no. There you go. This is the compost master's uh, place. Quite cool. So I'm liking that. We head this way. Uh, cell point straight in front. Oh, that's the garden centre for selling compost. In here, ah, is our animal market Smithfield quality meat? Yeah, yeah, and there we go. That would be uh, the animal market, I think. Let me jump out. Yep, there we are. That is where we buy and sell our animals. Straight over here is uh, milk sales, dairy milk. Nice touch. Uh, that is... Wow, how would you get in there? Out that way. That's our shop. Uh, that is definitely from Sosnovka, that, uh, that sell point. And then the last one we have around here is up here, and that's the bakery. So that will be uh, grains. Now, did I see one more on the map? Yes. Twin Cannons Inn to the north. Also appears to be a cell point. Go and have a look at that quickly. Wow, get yeah, this. That, that does not feel overly British to me. Uh, oh, it's in there. So it's the other side of there. I think we must be able to get there somehow. Oh, we're running over pedestrians. Never mind. It's, yeah. It is a little bit of a, a weird feeling driving around this map. A, a slight sense of off. Nice map, but by no means am I am I saying it's a bad map. I'm just saying it there's there's a there's a something that just doesn't 
doesn't quite sit right with me. And I can't put my finger on it. Maybe I'm too used to playing maps with a lot smaller roads and things like that. But it's, yeah, it's a bit odd. Uh, Miller, Grias. Ah, this is the sell point for straw and hay and grass. And looks like a slurry purchase point as well. And a manure sell point by the looks of things as well. Or maybe that's a slurry sell point. That's a possibility. Right, up around here. Yeah, it's a slightly odd mix, this map. Another sell point. This again is a grain sell point. This... This to me does look a little bit more British. There we go. So that again, self point. Head back up this way. Wait. I'm going to turn around here because these are back to the two fields that we uh, first mentioned owning before. 21 and 22. This is 21. And so this road here brings us back down to the sheep farm. It's great because we will go straight over and straight up to the main farm. And we will have a look at, uh, at the machinery we get on the map as default. Just to round us out. Those things we don't start off with any um, with any animals from what I've seen there. Uh, we'll just have a look around here. So this is uh, yeah, this is the other half of the yard. Decent sized yard. There's plenty of uh, space for storage and things. That's interesting. What's that door for then? Ah, that's our workshop which extends out of the door perfect yeah I really quite like this I, I, I like the map um, but I also have reservations about it as I said there's nothing per se that's, that's inherently bad about it it just yeah doesn't seem to sit right with me Although I do like the use of the mud. The use of the mud has been fantastic. So, um, let's go have a look in the shop. Uh, or let's go and have a look in our garage, shall we? And see what we have. Uh, doesn't seem like a, a, a huge amount of equipment. So this shouldn't take too long for us to have a quick look through here. Uh, so the New Holland 8330, uh, 8340 and the Case uh, 1455 XL are our two tractors. Uh, we've got the FZ30 front loader uh, with a pallet fork. Uh, the Case 1660 axle flow combine with its 14 foot header. Uh, the Brantner E8041 trailer. The Kalma L300 Kuhn cultivator. Uh, along with the Kuhn Verimaster 153 plow. Uh, the Great Plains 3P106NT seeder. The Kerbalin Exactor EL uh, solid fertilizer spreader and uh, a 1,000 uh, kilogram, oh, sorry, a one kilo, yeah, 1,000 kilogram weight. Uh, and of course, we added the Land Rover. Uh, so, yeah, decent set of, mach uh, decent set of machinery uh, should easily handle the fields you start with because you start with this clump here. Uh, no baler or I don't think there's even a mower, is there? So you start off with a load of grass fields without anything to be able to do with them. So that clump there, uh, you can't do anything with those. I would probably recommend a, um, a mower, a windrower and uh, a forage harvest, a forage wagon and just make a load of silage off those. Um, but certainly... You're not dealing with huge fields here. So, yeah, that's a good set of equipment. All in all, it's a decent looking map. I'm not sure it's a map for me, however. Um, but, yeah, nothing wrong with it. 
decent looking map. Interesting in places, a little too samey in others, uh, but uh, well worth checking out, I think. Uh, it is available from the Giants Mod Hub, so, e mod hub. so either uh, check it out in game or pop along to the website. Uh, it is Millhouse Farm, it is by Twain123, and uh, yeah, give it a go. I think it's worth at least seeing if it's right for you. Uh, and with that, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this first look. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.